Hi, I'm King Kwa. I am the CEO and founder of Salty Customs and eFood.store. So my past life, uh, I started working in a corporate training company about 10 years ago. And uh, while I was working, I was also studying and attaining my degree in finance and marketing. As soon as I got it, uh, the business that it is today had already three customers. And what we, what we did was uh, we manufacture and we design clothing for companies. And that was how we started. Uh, it's been a, a long and fun journey. Um, I've always been very enterprising in that sense. I've always looked for opportunities and tried to solve problems, uh, even from a young age. And uh, yeah, before you know it, here we are. Salty Customs is basically a group of well-meaning people coming together to do something purposeful. Our vision is to help others inspire. Now that's different from inspiring others because I think that's what um, the celebrities and the influencers and, and the leaders of the world are already doing. Uh, but for us, we believe in care, we believe in adaptability, we believe in results. We believe that how you get there is as important as the destination itself, where you're going. So as a company, Salty Customs started as a t-shirt printing company. Uh, we specialize in designing and mass manufacturing t-shirts for companies. But today we are the solutions provider when it comes to merchandise or any sort of collaterals that companies need to use as a tool of expression for their colleagues or their staffs or even to send it out to their customers. So. Um, yeah, we believe that we'll be able to provide good quality products to companies around the world. And we've invested quite heavily into technology, which means that people from all around the world can actually be an apparel consultant today. So they could actually join us and uh, also help to spread these items and positivity to the companies around the world. So I think in business, the highs are really high, but the lows are also really low. Um, yeah, some of the things that I look back and I really do enjoy is the fact that uh, I never got the opportunity to study overseas. So I always studied locally, uh, but I always wanted to go abroad to, to experience the, the culture and to experience the education system. Uh, but through business, I was able to represent my company and go to Stanford University for a professional course. Uh, a few years back uh, and it didn't stop there you know after Silicon Valley uh, I also got to experience Alibaba so recently I was sent to Alibaba by by the Malaysian government MDAC um, to study from from Alibaba and to learn the ways of the East which uh, obviously is a dominant force in the business world today so uh, if I was not in business I would never ha have had this opportunity uh, I think some of the highs are also the fact that know, knowing that you've inspired a few people along the way and um, you've helped a few people along the way. And uh, we have 3,000 customers and we've produced over 3 million articles of clothing. Uh, we were the first company to produce for Facebook, Spotify, Airbnb from Malaysia. And uh, I think we're pretty proud of that. Uh, and those were the highs. Those are really the highs. With regard to the lows, uh, I think I've seen my fair share of uh, disappointment, losses. Um, yeah, I think there was one instance where uh, we, we found ourselves in a situation where we were making revenue, we were making money. But when you look closer into the books, you realize that you were actually making a loss. We were making losses. And uh, that was definitely one of the lowest points uh, in our career. Um, you start to see, you start to have people problems, you start to have uh, problems where expectations are mismanaged and uh, certain uh, disagreements will occur. And, you know, problems like that will happen in business all the time. It's not about the problem, it's about how you react to the problem that, that makes all the difference. And I think looking back, uh, there are no regrets in terms of how we have managed ourselves, uh, but the lows are low in the sense that you feel quite alone when you're in that situation. 
However, for me, I think um, it's been awesome because I had really good teammates and friends around me that uh, has helped uh, dampen or soften that impact of the fall. Uh, but we definitely saw a few uh, interesting uh, situations in business. There were also certain clients that would make you feel like you're inadequate or you're not good enough and your products are never going to amount to anything. You're never going to be able to cross borders. You're never, able to, you're never going to be able to produce out of Malaysia. You never ever, you will never be a big brand. Uh, I think some of these disheartening uh, sentiments has been put across to us before. Uh, but yeah, again, if you really believe in, in what you do, then um, put your heart to it and, and go, for, go for it wholeheartedly. And uh, we're, still, we're still fighting and trying to make sure that we are the number one brand when it comes to apparel manufacturing or even influencer merchandising uh, in Southeast Asia. So I think the world is going through a very interesting time. People use the word unprecedented so much. Um, it's just interesting. I, I've never experienced a real economy crisis in my career and to be going through what one right now is 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 scary it's very scary and it's also very real it's very real in the sense that um, if you're not careful or if things don't get better uh, you could very well go under um, so there is that scare there is that fear however the salty group has been quite fortunate in the sense that three years ago we started investing into technology and we have a tech team, we can code, we make our own stuff, our own apps, our own websites, our own software. Um, so this year, um, we created a platform called yifu.store. It is our attempt to pivot before the whole COVID-19 situation struck. And um, what it is, is it is a platform that takes away all of the frills and the uh, congestion and difficulty of producing merchandise for people. So almost anybody, starting with influencers all the way down to uh, celebrities or even you and I, can produce our own merchandise and sell it for a good cause online. All you have to do is go to yifu.store and start your own campaign. Now, that model was not so well received before COVID-19. Because um, I think the idea of, of people looking for a different revenue stream back then wasn't the first priority. The first priority was their jobs or the day-to-day -day that they're used to. Uh, but with the en entire lockdown, uh, I think people are looking for more ways to make money. And uh, Yifu has become an avenue for that. So our inquiries are increasing and uh, more and more people are uh, trying this out. As a start, I think people will stop buying a lot of non-essential products. I think as a start, retail will be hit. There's a report somewhere that said that retail will suffer close to two trillion US dollars just this year alone. Um, as a start, I think people will start to be a lot more conscious in how they buy items and what they buy. They would rather know if they are getting it straight from the source itself or is it going through a third or fourth or fifth party. I think that um, the consumer behavior will change a lot. People will start to look into sanitary practices a lot more. So offices, uh, homes, even appliances and, and everything that you talk about, the way people buy from the way people consume, all the way down to how people serve uh, will change. They will start to look into sanitary processes. They will start to look into um, what's behind those sanitary processes. So I think um, anybody who is in a business that can control the outcome and the output from the beginning to the end, if they're able to communicate that message through the consumers, I think that they will do pretty well in the coming new normal. I also think that um, people will start going out again and, and, and the retail market will rebound. But it's exciting because I think that there could be a new 
format of, of retail. I, I believe uh, there are some brands out there that are already prototyping um, certain accessories and apparel, uh, namely face masks that looks like something out of a science fiction movie. Uh, perhaps that could be a fashion item, you know, in the future. So a lot of opportunities, a lot of innovation and creation that will take place. I think we'll be able to see a lot of that. I think a business should have strong fundamentals and um, we should focus on not only profitability, but also what solutions you bring into the community and the world. Uh, for as long as you keep driving in this direction or for as long as we keep doing that and we keep trying to help others inspire, uh, I believe we'll be able to evolve, pivot and innovate and stay ahead of the game. Uh, we'll never know what's going to happen tomorrow. All we can do is just focus on um, planting the seeds around as well and making sure we water them every day. And hopefully that uh, would, would bring some results for us in the long-term future. So um, yeah, stay vigilant, stay steadfast and uh, work hard. <laughs>